Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ask Mark. I think we're up to six now. Like oh, my birthday, May six. May six yeah. coming up. Oh, for everybody, that's his birthday. Got to get him <laughs> something nice, or harass him. One of the two. My sixteenth uh, birthday. <laughs> <laughs> um, getting right into it. Uh, Ud Loose asks, uh, how do you plan on getting longevity worked into the game? Um, like, say when you get to the max level in one to two days. So I'm going to prefix this by saying, um, obviously this guy's been playing the beta mm -hmm. and he's yeah. gotten to level 10 in one day. Yeah. Guys, it's a beta. We've intentionally made the levels like that so you can hit the max level right away. That's not going to be the end result of the game. But, yes. So exactly as Drew said, is beta we want to get you guys playing as much of the game quickly as possible, leveling up, testing the cars, testing the races, testing the unlock flow, um, and then throughout, obviously through launch, you know, we're looking at leveling through uh, multiple weeks or months, you know, so there's a lot of depth in the levels and the progression of the game. Progression's huge. Um, I know that's what Dave, uh, Dave and actually Clay have been working on a lot is, is through uh, turning out the progression. So two days is uh, just for beta, um, more like yeah. months um, to get through it. So, so yeah, uh, remember guys that we are intentionally constraining the game right now for beta because we're just trying to get test data out of it right now. Yeah. So that's why we're allowing you to guys to max out in one day. So um, that won't be the end result of the game and we're not really going to give away too much in terms yeah. of what, what the end result is. Yeah. But It still goes through a lot of tuning yeah. too. Like yeah. we we got to look at from the hardcore players to the average player, you know, um, what, what the, what's the average player going to take. So Cool. Uh, next question is from Randy Orton, which is interesting. Uh, he asks, uh, oh, sorry, uh, you will add car types like carbon or undercover, so I think what he's trying to say is what type of cars do you expect to see in this game? So, sure. um, so yeah, we have the traditional Need for Speed, we always have tuners, muscles, exotics, yep. um, super exotics, we're trying to get into some, some of the, uh, you know, the whole, the genre now is getting into these super exotics and these cars that are doing 250 miles per hour plus. I think you'll see those later um, after launch. Um, we're definitely uh, releasing with a with a subset of cars, and then every so often adding to it. So yeah. you'll still get the full breadth of uh, you know all the different genres. They all handle different. You know, muscle cars are going to feel a little bit more uh, drifty, a bit more heavier. Um, you know, they work a little bit better with ram because of the weight, yeah. uh, the weight, and um, there's, there's going to be uh, Porsches. As in People have seen the Gallardos in there, so you're getting a really uh, very all, like, uh, diverse. Exactly, uh, it's it's a big uh, a big wide selection. We're looking to go, you know, go definitely over a hundred cars cool. um, going in the future as well to keep adding to that. So uh, that's a cool little bit of info. You know, usually for speeds we stay under roughly around a hundred. About sixty usually. Yeah, yeah. sixty. So yeah. we're looking to go past that. A game like this where we'll be supporting for years, it's perfect for it. Just keep adding. Well, the cool thing that what we're going to do when it comes to World 2 is this, this is really the community's game. Yep. And um, I think we're really going to take their opinion more than anybody else's on what cars are going to come into the game when, too. So totally. I think the more re the cars that are more requested more often will come into the game earlier than the ones that are kind of the one-off requests. So. Agreed. And, so, and, and the, yeah. it, it coincides perfectly with the modes that we're releasing at the same time. If there's a certain mode that people are playing that people love and say, you know what, it would be wicked with this car, we have a whole... Uh, list of cars that we've used in the last decade um, that we can bring in and, and pull back in, do a new uh, tuning pass with the keyboard and get it right in. So yeah, be vocal um, with the new game modes yeah. that are coming in and uh, you know what you would like to see. We'll try to get in there. Yeah, there's definitely uh, on the on the NFS World forums. Those are probably the long epic threads that are going on are always about cars. What For cars sure. do you want to see in the game? So For sure. visit the forums if you guys want to voice your opinion. Yeah. And we are listening. So. Yeah. Um, Next question is from Blackout Zor, I think that's how he, he's, he asks, is there going to be a day-night cycle? Um, this is something that we actually, uh, Eduardo came on uh, I think about three episodes ago while you were away traveling yeah. and he explained what they wanted to do with the day-night cycle so maybe you can uh, you know, talk about it if you know a little bit about it but For I sure. can answer this one too. So. For sure, yeah, so it's definitely in the plans, um, I know the world team has definitely been playing with... Uh, tuning the world both how it looks in the, in the day and obviously in the night. It's a lot of work um, to make it feel right and uh, it's something that will probably not be rolled out right when we launch uh, just because yeah. we want to do it right. It'll be added on after. That, yeah, he said that it would probably be some, some months if not longer. 
So exactly, yeah. and it's it's going to take that long to make it feel right and look right. So yeah. the cool thing is, we're already planning it. We're yeah. talking about it. Um, we know you guys want it, so it's one of those things that will fall in after launch. Yeah. So Eduardo was talking about a uh, a day night cycle that like very sped up style, so you could see uh, yes. day night day night yeah. within one gaming session. I yeah. think it would be similar to what you saw in like. Uh, the Legend of Zelda, Zelda Oceana of Time, that one where it goes through really quickly. Yes. Um, one of the questions that we had in the previous uh, Ask Mark was, um, <clears throat> what, what did he ask? He asked, was it going to be based on the server time? Yeah, or yeah, real time. So, yeah, so it's not, it'll be based on a sped up one, as it sounds like the one that they're leaning towards most. Yes. But like Mark was saying, they're, they're planning, they're prototyping right now, so we don't really know what the end result's going to exactly. be. Exactly. So. We're still working on all, all those details. If you're a guy that plays always on the night, we and does that mean you're never gonna? We're never gonna show you the real life, uh, you know, day life night cycle, or if you're playing in the and vice versa. If yeah. you're playing in the day, you're never gonna see the night. So we got to work out all that. How yeah. tune it, make it feel right, um, and get all that in. Cool. Um, next question is from Cryer. Interesting. Again, uh, no other game makes camera shake when I accelerate the car. Will you stay with the driving physics? For sure. So the driving question. Yeah, so. the driving physics. People seem to be loving it. It's going back to the classic. You know what they felt back in the old days. It suits this game because it's on the keyboard. We're definitely going to keep the physics as is. Uh, it's going to always get more refined and tuned better. How we sell that sense of speed, how we sell the immersion, is always going to get better and better with tuning. You can tune until you can tune forever and make it feel uh, just that much more polished because you, basically we try to tune per car. Yeah. Tune per camera, per car, because each one's different length and all that. Um, so for camera shake, so there's this from camera shake to the distance to how, how the, the camera starts to sync when it gets, it all builds that sense of speed. Yeah. So we will definitely be layering in all these. It's just classic that we've always been doing a Need for Speed. Really, the reason we feel so fast in the gaming is because we put all these things in. Yeah. So we will be putting all those in for World as well. Cool. That's awesome. You know, that's funny though, because this blog was originally going to be all about physics and ask Mark yeah. about the physics and it's kind of evolved into yeah. ask Mark about anything about the games. So. Yeah, so that's a good point yeah. actually. If yeah. you guys want to know anything more about physics, let's hammer that because yeah. I've helped create the physics engine since back in underground days. So if you need more specifics about that, let me know. I'll yeah. be glad to answer those. But we're also glad to answer whatever yeah, we this can. Is, so. This is great because we've, you know, we've had six weeks yeah. of this. We've answered you know dozens of awesome questions. So. Yeah. You know, the more interaction we have with you guys, the more we can clarify, you know, the vision of the game, the better for us and the better for you guys as well. Yep. But remember, there's some things that we can't talk about. For sure. Yeah, we so, want to see yeah. a little yeah. chance here there. <laughs> okay. Next question is from uh, Snapper. And he asks, uh, will NFS World have boss NPC characters? So, um, say, like a, a tough competitor race or that you can take on. Uh, I guess a lot of people are maybe even talking about cross or something like yeah. that too. So are we going to have anything like that, or is? So we have to really look what si what fits in this type of game. This type of game is really it's an MMO. It's the boss characters should be hopefully your buddies. They're, yeah. they're the guys that you want to take down. We're looking to. We hope that the community makes these badass cars that they you know pursue and explore and race cars that are just uh, so well diverse and es essentially which is creating that strategy. So we want the boss sort of characters to be your buddies. Yeah. We want these epic battles to happen within your own team um, and across the world, right? So because there is, they're a single player, but majority of this game is supposed to be played multiplayer. Yep. So it doesn't, really doesn't really make sense to go take the game in that direction. Whereas let's cater to more modes, let's cater to more power-ups and driver skills that people can create their own type of boss cars out of. Cool. Loud so, music. Yeah. <laughs> is the audio guy is testing something. Or? Yeah. Um, last one is from Danny, eighty nine. Uh, he said, "Is there going to be photo mode in free roam?" Um, so this is actually I, I added this question because I wanted to kind of speak to this as well. Sure. As you, uh, Go ahead. Um, right now, in the first two betas, one of the things that we're seeing people do the most is actually converge on an area like the stadium or. Um, the bus station, even though you're not supposed to go in the bus station, but people have been doing it anyway. Uh, and then just actually go in there, striking poses, like lining up their cars or like getting all the cars in cool formation and then yeah. taking pictures. Um, it's a Need for Speed game. I think it's safe to say we will have a photo mode. Yeah. I think this year with, with so much interest in um, this sort of photo opportunities in this game and, and being the very social, massive online 
game that it is, I think that it's proven that we should do something yeah. a little bit more um, centered around photos and stuff like that. Mind you, I'm not exactly sure what that can be. Maybe we're going to reach out to the community and, and ask them what they want. But It's funny because yeah. we just had a production meeting this morning, yeah. and it was based on a lot of the beta feedback. And as we start going into our next upcoming betas, we're looking at what are our fans loving and, and what do they want to see more of. And this is the number one hit list item. Number um, one. Number one. And, yeah. and so we're listening, and it's definitely, we're, we're already trying to, to plan this in. How can we get it in the next few months? Yeah. We want to get this in for launch. Um, so we're doing our best to try to work with our uh, development directors to see if there's enough scope and capacity to free up some of our teammates to, to, to focus on this fully. So. Yeah. It looks like we're we're basically after today's meeting. It looks like we're starting uh, development on it. Cool. So it's so, coming. It's just uh, how fast and we can get that bad boy in. Yeah. And uh, it's surprising what the guys are doing online too, because like I would have never really expected that having a meeting place just to show off would yeah. be such a big thing. You yeah. Know? And, that's, and it's huge. I mean, you guys all know who have been playing the beta. That's it's yeah. it's all over the forums. People just lining up and showing off, and it's it's awesome. So, so the big things from a design from yeah. produ and production side for us is. How do we make it very quick and easy, uh, yeah. easily accessible for you and your buddies to say, hey, boom, let's go here. Yeah. And then also take pitch, pit, uh, pictures of your ride, pictures together. How do you share that type of experience? So yeah. we were already in uh, design talks around that. Already uh, looks like it's pretty good. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. It's the first time really Need for Speed has ever really listened this close. Yeah. And a game like World, it, it's just what, it's never been done before. Well, there so. were some cool things that happened on Shift in terms of listening to the community, like like the Toyota Supra game. Yeah. I didn't use that as an example of, as, you know, one thing that a game, but yeah. with just the nature of this game, we could keep doing it. For sure. Scale, and, so. and this yeah. is like, let me rephrase that, this is the yeah. first game that title I've worked on. I yeah. wasn't directly involved with Shift, yeah. so yeah, they started doing that, but it's, it's, a, it's a neat experience yeah. that we listen to the community and we get to go build it. Yeah. Um, it's almost in a weird way like the community is becoming the designers, uh, you know, our co-designers, yeah. right? And like we have our, our leads and creatives and then we listen to what, what the community wants. So um, it's, it's just a matter of time before it all gets yeah. in. It's going to make the quality and experience that much better. And, uh, so here's another question then in terms of what the community doing is another thing that the guys are all doing during the betas is organizing cruises. Yeah. How, all right, now this is a question that we're going to pose to them. How would you make a game mode out of that? You tell us. And give us your questions. Sounds good. Cheers, guys. See ya.